All right. Um, I've had a few different people ask me a couple questions about uh, gear lash and some slop in their gearboxes on their new idea 5209 and the 5212 is also the same and as well as the case and I think there's a couple other machines that carry this type of gearbox. So this is a brand new set of gears um, and you know the lash in the gearbox as such that there is some shims that raise and lower the height of this gear into this gear because this gear is fixed on the shaft. Um, so when you grab onto your turtle, you know, the top of your <clears throat> cutter and you feel some slop, if you feel very carefully, very slowly, you can feel the difference between the gear lash and the slop of this gear on the hex shaft, okay? And I think a lot of people forget that this is a hexed drive gear, okay? Now, some of these gears for a few years were only hexed right here in this section. There was only a hex on this part right there. This one, if you can see it in the video here, uh, this one's hexed all the way through. I've had the best luck with this in full full hex um, as far as wear. Um, the ones that were only hexed for two inches, those wear out very quickly. Um, however, we did find that if we changed shafts, if we used a shaft that was harder from a local metal supplier, right, it's a 5 8 hex shaft, versus buying the hex shaft for way too much money from New Idea or Agco or um, who owns it now, whoever owns it now, um, we, we get a much more longevity out of the shaft. Now, you can also flip the shaft over. You can pull the shaft out and put it in the other way and it will change the wear points on these gears slightly. Um, so if you're if you're checking your gear lash and you feel like it's extra sloppy, it may not necessarily be the gears. It may be the hex shaft. You can yank that hex shaft out and you'll see wear. You'll see wear on that hex shaft right where every one of these gears is. Um, and you know, sometimes you need to replace the gear, but sometimes you can just replace the shaft and, and do a lot. Uh, we generally flip our shafts over every season. And we usually replace them every two seasons. And like I said, we are buying them now from a metal supplier. I, I want to tell you it's 4140, but I could be wrong on that. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. Um, but it's slightly harder. It does seem to last a little better. Hope that answers some questions. Thanks.